Hey, <laughs> y'all got a lot of videos to watch today. Because I'm on it. I'm really on it. <laughs> Be careful who you tell your dreams and your goals to. Because a listening is just like a talking mouth. A listening is just like a talking mouth. See, that's why I just sit back and I observe a lot of people. The people around me, even my family, my friends, every, well, the people I do business with or whatever. I, a lot of people learn about what I do just by word of mouth. So, just by saying that, you just got to watch what you say around people and watch what you do around people. Because they sure can flip it. And they sure can take your ideas. I've seen it plenty of times. Just watch, just watch what you say. You can't, you can't tell everybody your plan. Because eventually they're going to either criticize your plan or throw you, knock you off your track. Or they're just going to take your plan and do it another way. Cause you can't you you can't you can't tell the secret code of everything you do. It's just like it's just like it's just like war. If you tell your enemies what you finna do, what you think they finna do? Hmm. Even though. Okay. Okay. You can tell you can tell somebody that got a job and they work, you know, and they work and they 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 got money, but they blow it, you know, they blow it, they blow it every week, they blow it. But you not thinking, you tell your idea to them, you tell what your invention to them, you tell what's your plan, you know, and they know you, you and they know you not the nine to five type of working prop. Work, working type person, you know, and you tell them, and they and they go do your idea, and they mess it up. What they leave you with? Nothing. Or they even tell tell you your plan, and they secretly plan on you. You know, they become your competition. Because eventually the the friends you have gonna either be competition or you know or additions. And it's two types of people, it's connections and attachments. Connections get you power. Attachments suck it out of you and become bigger than you. So cut them people off if they attachments because you don't need no attachments in life because you're gonna die in that casket by yourself. And you gon' whatever you did in your life, you gonna pass that down to your generation. And I see a lot of people, a lot of older people that died don't don't pass them down. I see that in a lot of um, a lot of minorities they don't pass down nothing to their kids, and they just leave their kids to starve and suffer, with nothing to fall back on. So you leave this generation with. Lost, they don't have nothing to look forward to in life. They don't have a fallback plan, so they gotta do whatever they gotta do to have that fallback plan for themselves. And hopefully, they can have that type of you know, have that type of mindset and vision so their kids can have something to fall back on, you know. So, don't don't reveal all your cards to people that's people that's in your life. But very temporary. Because a lot of people are very temporary. Temporary. Excuse my French. Temporary. They in one day, they out the next. Even family, you know. You can't trust every every family member. Because family are very entitled to a lot of things. If they see, if they going through the same thing you going through, 
when they want to help you, when they want to bring you up. I'm not saying I have a, a bad family. I'm not saying I have the worst family. I'm not saying my family don't do nothing for me. But, you know, it just... It's just a lot of people don't think like I do, so I just I just do it by myself. But when I get to the point where I'm successful, I'm still going to get back because this is just me. I did this because of me. I was going through my own situation. I was going through my own trials and tribulations in my mind. So once I get to where I want to be in life, of course I'm going to help them. Of course I'm going to give my mom or whoever else she's dating a, a a house and a car, you know, because that's what I always wanted in life. That's that's what I looked up to was, the, you know, the millionaires and billionaires, uh, successful people on YouTube, you know, and they did things for their family, you know, despite what they go through in their regular everyday lives. It's just about, you know, just giving back to the youth, giving back to the people, you know, that they grew up with, you know, just giving back giving back to where they started, you know, just going back to where they started and sharing their stories, you know, I really love that, I really, hopefully I can do that with this YouTube stuff, you know, but don't, don't reveal everything to your, to people, you know, you know you're going to move away from, or you know you're going to start a life without them, so, you can't just, discuss big dreams with small-minded people, you know, and that's gonna, that's gonna be the end of this video, talk to y'all later.